I want to give you a few updates. This time of year is really hard for me to get out in the shop and get things done. There's so much going on. We went to the fair uh, a few days ago. It's still running until tomorrow, uh, the county fair, and we go every year. I really like doing that because it's just, that is the sign that it's summer is to go to the fair. And so this year they had these uh, Chinese acrobats there that were really cool. And Wyatt worked at the fair for one day. It was his first job, I guess you would call it. He didn't get paid for it. He volunteered for it, but uh, it was really a good experience for him. He seemed to really like it. He worked in one of the little uh, tents, I guess you call it, where they have, uh, it's over in the animal area where they have the petting zoo and all of that. And so uh, it's a little area where little kids, toddlers can go over there and they get these little pictures that they can paint of animals. And so <laughs> he would help them out with that. And so that was, that was kind of cool. I wanted to give you a closer look of the Thor's mallet that Alvin sent to me that I, I posted this on my website or Facebook or both, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> and look at that thing. Okay, so there's that mallet and here's the one that I made. <laughs> that thing is massive, but I really like the way that he's kind of angled this. I don't know if you can see how that goes that way because it, it really, it feels nice to hit things with that. but. It was also, it's really cool to see all the people that were making these mallets and have sent me pictures. Wow, that was, that was really cool to see that. A few things about the door harp. Uh, a, a number of people have told me that I should probably try using acoustic guitar strings instead of the steel electric guitar strings and I'd get a better sound out of it. And yeah, I think you're right. That would, that would definitely be the way to go. I should have thought about that ahead of time. It makes sense because steel strings for electric guitars don't need to be loud in and of themselves because, well, they're electrified. Uh, let's see, a couple other things about the uh, door harp. Oh, the little beads. <laughs> that was funny. Somebody said, well, you know, those are called beads. <laughs> that just cracked me up. You're right. I don't know. I, I looked at them and I was like, well, they're, ho they're balls, but there's a hole in them. <laughs> so, those beads, uh, I think if those are heavier, that would help. And then uh, somebody asked why I didn't put uh, the string right through the hole of those, just to use that. And actually, I tried that to begin with, but the problem there is, is I wasn't getting the string to come straight down when it's wrapped around there. It kind of tips to the side. Does that make sense? And so, that wasn't working out well. So, that's why I attached them with the little eyelet. Uh, let's see. What else can I say about the door harp? Oh, I know. <laughs> Somebody told me that the, the Celtic design that I used on there is, uh, is actually a 666 on, <laughs> on its side. It's like, to me, it, it must be like, a, you really had to look for it to see it. It's like a stylized six. <laughs> so um, that was pretty cool. And I thought the guy was just joking around, but I guess the guy was kind of serious. So, <laughs> but you know, I am. I'm a Satanist, really, so don't <laughs> tell anybody. So anyways, I thought that was funny, and I was just kind of joking with him on YouTube about, well, I was really more concerned about the zombie apocalypse than, well, that apocalypse. But it got me thinking, you know, I, I should really try to, like, sneak in a little 666 somewhere in my future projects. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I don't need more controversy at all. So the project I'm going to be making this week is it's a stomp box. And I know most of you probably have no idea what a stomp box is. It's this is going to be kind of a specialized <laughs> project that not very many of you are going to want to make, I'm sure. But what it is, it's, it's a box for musicians so they can kind of make a beat sound with their foot while they're playing, say, an electric guitar and singing and that sort of thing. My son, he wants to do a, a solo with his guitar, playing a White Stripes song, you know, and it's just the two, two people in White Stripes, and so he wants to provide the bass with that stomp box. So I was looking around at stomp boxes, and there's like, wow, tons of different ways you can buy a stomp box or make a stomp box. So I'm gonna kind of make this one a tricked out one. I wanna include this half of a snare from a cajon that I made, and it's gonna be on there, and I think I want it to kind of, you can use it or not use it. And then I got this. A tambourine today, and the reason why I bought the whole tambourine is because it was only $10. I only wanted these, but I think it would probably be more expensive just to buy those than to buy the whole tambourine. So I'm gonna take those off, and so it's gonna be like accessories that you could put on the stomp box, and the only other thing I needed was a pickup. I wanted, you can get these little pickups for like $15, but I went to three music stores and they were all out of those. They have ones for, you know, 40 or $50 that you put in for, acoustic guitars, but I didn't want to spend that much money on this thing. 
So I'm gonna actually try also just sticking a microphone inside of the stomp box and using it that way. But anyways, uh, I'm sure it's a lot more than you ever really wanted to hear about a stomp box. Uh, let me show you a little bit of my tomatoes from a few days ago. I wanna give you the tomato update because just yesterday, I think I had the first ripe tomato. Uh, let's see. Here are, this is my chocolate cherry tomato plant, it's called. And way down under here, there it is. I don't know if I can get up, oh, I just came off. So I'm not sure if it's just, uh, it's as red as it's going to get. Maybe that's why it's called a chocolate cherry tomato, but I'm going to give it a try. That's good.